Setting up a sticky add to cart is quite simple. First you have to do is enable the app on the team editor. You go to team editor and under this app and bids, you just enable the app here and save it. Then you go to back to the sticky page where you close this window. And first you can refresh it if you want, but also it works if you enable a subscription, you have to activate it. We have a uh, three plans, free, standard and pro and all plans are based on the views and the max plan has unlimited views so and when app is approved it already works on your on your uh, on your store it will only work on the product pages but as you can also let me show you on one of the products uh, let me try let's go like this uh, it has you Always make sure to check it out if it looks good on the if it looks good on uh, mobile and also on the desktop. And you can see it when you go down here, the bar is already active with the variants, with the quantity add to cart. But uh, well, let's go back to the settings page. Uh, in settings page, what you can edit is you go to the edit. Here is you, if you want to turn on or turn off the sticky add to cart. You have to do action, which needs to do what what is happening after uh, customer is clicking on it. If it goes to the cart page, stays on the page, or goes to the checkout. The next one is you can decide on which devices you want to show, and of course you can uh, rename it the button text like buy now or get now. And then of course the design for the mobile and desktop, you can uh, variant if you want to show product image, product name, quantity or variants, maybe you want to show for the desktop and you don't want to show for mobile phone. It's up to you, do multiple tests, see how it works. And of course you can add also a countdown timer for urgency and set it up to one minute, five minutes, it's up to you. And then of course out of the stacks, renaming it and confirmation, you can rename it after the customer clicks on the button, uh, what he sees. And uh, if you want to edit, if you want to edit the button colors or bar colors, you have to do it on custom CSS. And if you need any help with it, just feel free to write us here on the chat or send us email and we'll be happy to jump on call or help uh, any ways we can.